This is an, a tiny 82 microcontroller. I'm not entirely sure if it's pronounced that way, but that's how I'm going to refer to it from now on. And uh, you might say that there's two of these, but uh, they're exactly the same one. It's just uh, this one is easier to mount onto a PCB, whereas this one is easier to put on a breadboard. So I'll be using uh, the bigger one. I went out and bought one of these uh, boards that will let you connect one of these to USB. The only problem is that in order to do that, you'll need a bootloader and install that on your Atini 85. And in order to do that, we'll need uh, another microcontroller. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Arduino Uno. At some point, I'll also try doing this with an ESP32 because I have a lot more of those. But that will be in a later tutorial if I do figure it out. We'll also need uh, a 10 microfarad capacitor, a couple of wires and a breadboard. First off, we'll need to install the Arduino IDE. Just go to arduino.cc to download and install the latest version. Next, we'll need the Digistump drivers for the bootloader. Follow the link in the description to get the installer and then just install it. When done, load up the Arduino IDE and go to File and Preferences. Copy the Boards Manager link from the description into the Additional Boards Manager URLs. Hit OK and go to Tools, Boards and Boards Manager. Once it's done downloading the platform indexes, search for Digistump and install the Digistump AVR boards. Plug in your Arduino via USB if you haven't already and go to File, Examples and Arduino ISP. Then go to Boards and make sure the board is set to Arduino slash Genuino Uno and select the port. In my case I was unable to select the port here. So I went to the Windows Hardware Manager and found that the USB device was missing a driver. Normally these are meant to be auto-installed with the Arduino IDE, but I had to browse my computer and search for drivers, then pick the Arduino slash drivers folder and go with that. And for some reason Windows said it didn't work the first time, so I tried it again and it said the driver was already installed, but I guess that's Windows for you. In either case, I could now set the port in the Arduino software, so after you've set the proper one, just hit the upload button to upload the Arduino ISP sketch. I'm going to unplug the Arduino while I am wiring. Put the Atini on the breadboard. And uh, what you'll want to notice is the uh, little circle in one of the corners. And that marks hardware pin 1. And then you, if you're new to this you might be wondering what you mean with hardware pin. Basically uh, hardware pins go it starts with one in uh, the corner with a circle, and it goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. If you go and look up uh, tutorials online, they might also be mentioning the GPIO pin numbers, which are different from the hardware numbers. For an instance, this is pin zero, one, and two. But for simplicity, I will be using the hardware numbers for the uh, tiny in this tutorial. And uh, as far as the Arduino goes, I'll be using the actual text that's printed on the pins. So there's no confusion there. Let's begin wiring it up. So hardware pin 0 goes to uh, pin 10 on the Arduino. Hardware pin 4 goes to ground on the Arduino. Hardware pin 5. goes to 11 hardware pin 6 to 12 hardware pin 7 actually I'm going to move them down a bit so hardware pin 7 goes to 13 and then finally hardware pin 8 goes to 5 volts. But before we can start uploading anything we will also need a small 10 microfarad capacitor. 
with the anode, that's the long pin, going to reset on the Arduino. And the cathode, the short pin, goes to ground to prevent it from it resetting itself while uploading. Let's plug in the Arduino again and load up uh, the Arduino software. And uh, in the description I have put a link to a couple of files that you'll need. And one of them is the burn a tiny 85 bootloader batch file. And before we move that we're going to have to edit it. If we go into the Arduino IDE, we can take a look at what port the uh, Arduino is connected to. And in this case it's COM3, so make a note of that. Because we need to enter that here, where it says PCOM. Just edit that to PCOM3, because COM3 was what we had. And save that. And let's copy over the bat file and the hex file. Let's copy them over into the Arduino directory. Okay, now we should be able to burn it. Here goes nothing. Sweet, looks like everything worked as intended. Let's try uploading something to it. Now if you lay it out you can uh, read the text so you know that this part is the bottom. And then on the uh, a tiny there's uh, the small round circle on the top left corner. So that one goes in the top left. And then we can just plug it in. This is my demo code which will flash the debug LED on and off every one second. And uploading to these tiny boards is a little bit different in that you need to start without it being plugged in. So I'm going to hit upload to upload the sketch. And then it says plug in device now. We'll time out in 60 seconds. So we have 60 seconds now to plug in the device. And then it uploads. And as you can see the debug LED is now flashing. So that's how you can install a bootloader and upload a sketch to an Atini 85.